to, to create your own prefabs you just essentially make your stamps and drag them into a folder in your project view so you've just got essentially a normal prefab but if you want them to appear inside the browser you need to go into packages open the microverse folder and inside the data folder you'll see the ones that Roland's already made so there's the you know, environment textures and trees but you can make your own folder um, again with with the prefabs so if I move my prefabs so I want the scattered global trees inside my one and I've got a pine forest that I've made as well uh, and in here you've got essentially a scriptable object so you just right click microverse and you're creating a content pack and I'll call it spell um, okay and if you see the one I've done already it's essentially you define a content pack author like name and ID and then the actual content itself which links to the the prefab and a preview image so this is going to be vegetation. I'm just going to call it I think I called it to your prefabs I'll add my pine forest and shall put the global trees first I should do some images which I'll just pause while I make okay so I've just made these um, just really basic little pictures that I've saved inside the same place. If you need to get to it, just show an explorer. It's in packages. Um, so that's my project folder, packages, then JSON booth, but you can do what I've done and just uh, right click, show an explorer. Um, so, yes, I have very basic. Um, and if I go back, I just put them in. That's my pine forest. That's my scattered trees. And I should be good to go. So if I go. Here, then it updates is my one, and there's the scatter global trees and the pine forest, and actually you can just drag and drop it in, and you got all the goodness of uh, microverse.